Let the example, the unjust ways of this shrewd manager, not mislead you or distract you, but they motivate you to make all the efforts to secure a place in heaven. May the peace and joy of Christ be with you today. In today's Gospel, which is taken from St. Luke, chapter 16, verses from 1 to 8, we have one of the most puzzling of all the parables used by Jesus. As Jesus seems to use the unrighteous actions of the shrewd steward as a model. It is important to notice two words used by Jesus. And Jesus says, children of this world or the children of darkness and the children of light. This shrewd steward that Jesus is using as in the parable he is a child of this world, child of darkness. And the children of darkness are using all the ways and means possible to secure their future in this world. Let us notice what this shrewd manager tells to himself. When my master dismisses me, I cannot dig or I cannot beg. But what shall I do to get a place among the people, get their respect? And that's where he begins to act. Though he acted unjustly, the master later, who is about to dismiss him, later commence his action. And Jesus says, see what these children of this world do. And you, children of light, what do you do to secure your place in heaven? Jesus is not asking us to follow the example of this shrewd manager and his actions to be unjust or to amass unjust wealth. But he is challenging us. What would you do or what are you doing to secure a place in heaven or to inherit eternal life? And the Bible tells us two things will help us to inherit eternal life or to ensure a secure place in the kingdom of heaven. The first is to believe in Jesus, to have faith in Jesus. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. And anyone who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And secondly, to do the will of God. And Jesus again says, it is not the one who calls Lord, Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father. And what is the will of the Father? And Jesus says in his own terms, his own words, love one another as I have loved you. That is the commandment. That is the will of the Father. And love in action is charity. And what is that? And Jesus very clearly stipulates what are those actions of love and charity. And we heard it two days back on All Souls Day in the Gospel, where Jesus comes as a king to judge. And he says, Whatever you do to the least of my brethren, you do unto me. And what is that? To give food to the hungry, drink to the thirsty, to clothe the naked, to visit the sick and the imprisoned, and to welcome the stranger, and to forgive the sinner, and many more. Very concrete actions of love and charity. And that would secure a place for you in heaven. And then Jesus would say, Come, you righteous, enter the kingdom which has been prepared for you from the foundation of the world. My dear friend, 
like the example, the unjust ways of this shrewd manager not mislead you or distract you, but they motivate you to make all the efforts to secure a place in heaven. May the love of Christ redeem us. Amen.